You're watching the news on Bahrain Television. A very good evening. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa met today at Glebia Palace. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa. His Majesty and His Royal Highness reviewed the requirements of the coming phase with regards to development and ways of reinforcing it through governmental parliamentarian cooperation and coordination to serve Bahrain and its people. His Majesty the King confirmed national programs will not stop regardless of the challenges. The meeting also reviewed national issues to consolidate national development and support the economy in addition to achieving the goals of comprehensive development. His Majesty the King commended the commitment of the people of Bahrain and their keenness to reinforce its status in various fields, stressing that unity and cohesion is the basis and principles on which the Bahraini society was built. He expressed thanks and appreciation to His Royal Highness the Prime Minister and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince for their constant efforts to follow up and develop the government's program and implement its programs in addition to upgrading its services. His Majesty thanked the cabinet members for their tremendous efforts in serving the country and the people. His Majesty the King and His Royal Highness the Prime Minister also discussed regional and international developments. His Majesty confirmed the necessity of coordinating stances amid the challenges being witnessed in the region in the security and economic fields. His Rohan as a Prime Minister confirmed Bahrain under the wise leadership of His Majesty the King has made numerous achievements stressing that the government continues its approach to achieving the aspirations of the King and the people. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa received the Glebia Palace today. Shura Council Speaker Ali Al Saleh and MPs in presence of the former Representative Council Speaker Khalifa Al Bahrani and senior state officials. The Prime Minister confirmed support to all efforts aiming to reinforce national development, adding that the way is paved for further cooperation between the executive and legislative authorities. He affirmed that the government is keen in implementing what it has committed to with regards to developmental projects. His Royal Highness commended the objective perspective of the Representative Council on Regional Development and its security and economic impact on the operational capacity of the projects. He highlighted the need to increase joint cooperation to face such challenges, welcoming communication with the Legislative Authority members to discuss visions regarding national action. He pointed out the legislative and monitoring role of the Legislative Authority and its importance in supporting economic and security approach of the government internally and externally.
His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa chaired today the cabinet meeting at Glebia Palace. The cabinet condemned the recent terrorist attack in Sehat in Saudi Arabia. The cabinet emphasized the kingdom's full support to Saudi Arabia in all steps it takes to maintain safety and security. His Royal Highness directed the Ministry of Works, Municipalities and Urban Planning to follow up on the progress of the project to develop and renovate a number of public gardens and parks in the Muharram Governorate. He stressed the importance of providing high quality public services to the kingdom's citizens and completing requirements of schools and their facilities in order to provide the sustainable environment for the students. The cabinet reviewed a memorandum regarding the periodic report on the work of the National Commission of the Prohibition of the Development Production, Stockpiling and Use of Chemical Weapons. The cabinet referred the memorandum to the Ministerial Committee for Legal Affairs for further review. The cabinet reviewed a memorandum regarding the outcomes of the annual meeting of the World Bank Group and the International Monetary Fund held in Lima, Peru from the 9th to the 11th of October of 2015. The cabinet referred the memorandum to the Ministerial Committee for Financial Affairs and Rationalizing Expenditure. The the cabinet gave initial approval on a memorandum regarding the implementation of the Internal Standard Industrial Classification ISIC4 in the Kingdom. The classification falls in line with a structural change in the global economy and the emergence of new technology that has led to new categorizations and production processes. The classification is also a key element of providing added flexibility for stakeholders and further facilitating investments. The cabinet took note of a number of draft proposals by the Legislative Authority, which will be reviewed further. Now, after the cabinet meeting, the Minister of Information Affairs and Representatives in Shura Council's Affairs, Zais Al Hamadi, held a press conference outlining the issues discussed during the meeting. He affirmed that reducing the number of intern doctors at Salmania Hospital has nothing to do with reducing expenses. The minister also condemned terrorist acts and stressed the importance of maintaining the security of Bahrain by the Interior Ministry. He affirmed that the Ministry of Industry and Commerce and Tourism are continuously monitoring the products in the local markets. The BDF Commander-in-Chief Field Marshal Sheikh Khalifa bin Ahmed Al Khalifa received the commander of the U.S. Naval Operations, Admiral John Richardson. The two sides reviewed ongoing military cooperation and coordination in addition to several topics of mutual concern. The Speaker of the Representatives Council, Ahmed Al Mullah, and Head of the Parliamentary Delegation participating in the International Parliament meetings in Geneva, participated in the opening session of the 133rd Interparliamentary Union General Assembly. The Speaker of the Representative Council underlined Bahrain's rejection of all forms of interference in its domestic affairs, pointing out that some human rights organizations have been misled by slogans issued by terrorist groups. Al Mullah also affirmed that the reform process is going at a steady pace and in accordance with a clear vision. And determination to achieve the homeland and citizens' interests despite all acts of terrorism and foreign interference. He also added that the kingdom is among the few countries that have achieved most of the Millennium Development Goals adopted by the United Nations in 2000 and will continue to achieve the goals of sustainable development approved by the United Nations on September the 26th. And for more information about the ongoing visit of the parliamentary delegation to Geneva, we are now joined by the second deputy of the Shura Council, Speaker Ms. Jamila Salman. Ms. Salman, what can you tell us more about Bahrain's participation in the meeting of the Permanent Committee for Democracy and Human Rights? Yes, uh, today the delegation of Bahrain participating in the IPO Assembly and the committee's meeting. In uh, General Assembly, we participated in the uh, discussion of the emergency item, and, that, and I would like to note that we uh, coordinate with the GCC countries delegation about the emergency item and other items on the agenda. Uh, the Standing Committee on the Democracy and the Human Rights has uh, just today finished uh, the first reading of the uh, proposed the resolution on democracy in the digital era and the threat to privacy and individual freedom. And also the Bahraini delegation has uh, participated in a uh, 
sustainable development uh, finance and uh, trade and uh, there is uh, many meetings where the delegation of Bahrain participated and also uh, the general secretary of NAWAB attended and participated in the meeting of uh, parliamentaries and parliament, uh, part, uh, par, uh, parliamentaries general sec, uh, secretaries Yes, uh, Ms. Salman, the visit is, of course, ongoing. Uh, can you tell us what's, uh, what's uh, in store next? Yes, sorry? Okay, the, I said the visit is ongoing in, in Geneva. Can you tell us what is next on your agenda? Yeah, tomorrow we will continue, uh, we will continue the discussion of the third uh, uh, committee in democracy and the... Uh, and the human rights and there is uh, also uh, there is a many meeting there is so many meetings of the another standing committees uh, and we will discuss uh, the most of uh, agenda which is an IPU. Thank you very much Ms. Jamila Salman the second deputy of the Shura Council speaker thank you. The Minister of Energy, Dr. Abdul Hussein bin Ali Mirza, inaugurated the third Operational Excellence Conference in the attendance of senior officials from GCC and international oil companies. The minister stressed Bahrain's government keenness to further host conferences related to oil and industry fields. The minister highlighted the importance of adopting creative solutions such as the operational excellence regarding the instability of oil prices. He also added that the kingdom's oil, gas and petrochemical industries are adopting such solutions in oil exploration projects. The energy minister then expressed his content regarding the worksheets and workshops of the conference which would contribute in setting a futuristic plan of the oil and gas fields in the Middle East. Chairman of governmental team assigned to revise and reduce the expenses of information technology, Mohamed Al-Qaid, said that the team has started working by forming four sub-teams to collect required information and achieve the desired reduction. He said the team's strategy is set according to the directives of the government to contribute in the stability of the financial situation and the sustainability of resources in order to achieve development and preserve gains. Al-Qaid explained that four sub-teams will work on infrastructure and systems, governance and information technology systems, organization structures in manpower and research and analysis. The Bahrain Authority for Culture and Antiquities, BACA, in collaboration with the International Arab and European Sociological Associations, has launched the first Euro-Arab meeting for young researchers in social sciences. This meeting will discuss different topics on the social issues that affect the way we interact with each other as human beings and how we view each other's struggles and gains. Sarah al has more details in this report. Under the patronage of Sheikh Hamey bin Mohammed Al Khalifa, the President of Bahrain Authority for Culture and Antiquities, the first Euro-Arab meeting for young researchers in social sciences took place starting today and is ongoing until October 25th. My dissertation focuses on political activism in the interior regions of Tunisia. Specifically, I'm looking at the Tunisian revolution in historical perspective and the way this revolution has evolved through a close comparison of two different regions in the Tunisian interior. The main idea of this meeting is to share and discuss topics that have affected the relationships of the world's countries and different cultures, and how the many prejudgments and stereotyped images that are retained by the people of these countries are in fact a result of the barriers that separate them, whether physical barriers, geographic or others. And my research is focused on the development of a European subism, in particular in France and uh, in, uh, in Italy, Paris, Paris and Milan. Regardless of how deeply entrenched these judgments and images are, or how divergent their implications may be, people have to face them in pursuit of connecting with each other, relationships that are more open, understanding and accepting of their differences. This was Sarah Break for Bahrain 55. And now we leave you with Bara for the latest business news. Thank you, Mohammed.
Good evening. Welcome to Business News on Bahrain TV. The Bahrain All Share Index closed today at 1,247.91 points, a decrease of 0.96 points below yesterday's closing. The fall was in the investment and services sectors, but investors traded mainly in the service sector, representing 52% of the total value of shares traded. Results indicated that 58 equity transactions uh, took place with a volume of 997,825 shares, worth a value of 245,970 Bahraini dinars. Now it's time for the sports news with Fatma. Thank you, Mohamed. Good evening and welcome to the Sports News on Bahrain Television. Bahrain today clinched its first gold medal at the second GCC Games being held in Dammam in Saudi Arabia. The Nationals retained the volleyball title after a sensational comeback from a 3-1 victory over rivals Oman in the concluding game of the Five Nation Round Robin event. The victory helped Bahrain maintain top spot following a well-contested battle with four other countries from across the Gulf region. Set results were 22 25, 25, 14, 25, 13 to 25, 19.